Well, welcome, one and all, to Bike Racing Without Mercy, a top Kirkstone pass for what I hope will be my full gas thread. Fingers crossed. See how the legs are. First climb felt okay. A long, long way to go. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Love the pink top. I watched your video. Oh, thank you. Nice job. Well, Love your Canada, sir. What time are you going for today? Hopefully sub seven. Good luck. You too, hope you have a good ride. Now for the descent, time to put the camera away. The Fred Witten is the king and queen of sportives, but there's no pomp and circumstance on the start line. Quite the opposite in fact, because life, well life is relaxed. And folk, Thank you. well they can set off at any time they choose between six and 8 a.m. I myself departed at 6.45, fueled by a breakfast of pancakes and honey. The choice of wannabe cycling Super Morning. Bowl champions. By the way, the hitters, they leave in a turbocharged peloton at 7.30 a.m. sharp. Morning, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Confident in my mission to ride the 182 kilometers, 3,800 meters of vertical, I proceeded in a flurry of good mornings and thank yous. And I'm pretty sure that that's what they do in a pro peloton. As you can see, it is fast and flowing en route to the second climb, Park Brown. Second climb of the day, but what a climb. However, in less pleasant news, I dropped my first water bottle. So I've only got one with the calves. Checking back in on the second climb near the top. Feeling good, but I've got to replenish the water. It's quite hot here. Honister is incoming. The level of concern is high. Legs, they're not feeling in great shape, but we'll see how they fare on the proper steep stuff, the 20, 25% ramps. I need to replace my liquids, probably just before wind latter. What a morning though. What a morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh, I like this traffic jam. Right, trying to put this away. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, crikey. Oh, oh. oh. Fantastic. Well done. I'm pretty sure that he wasn't congratulating me for my bike handling as I just about managed to circumnavigate the car. Oh dear me. Here's a nice little wall. It turned out to be well a little bit more congested than I remembered it from 2021 on Honister and Newlands, and Winletter, and Hardknot, and Rhinos. You're swimming. There's nothing that you can't achieve. Uh, it's brilliant, it's good. Oh, oh. Come through the middle. That was sketchy. Note to self, in the future, announce intent to go through the middle before actually attempting to go through the middle. Average gradients are irrelevant in the Lake District and at best provide guidance on the nature of the despicable ramps hidden within the eminently digestible average on your Strava app. Now Honister clocks in at two kilometers at 10.6%, but that really means wall, steep, wall, steep, wall, recover, steep. For a few moments, I'm gonna just let the data and the super low high torque RPM in the lowest gear to 34 on the rear, plus the heavy breathing, do all the talking.
Oh, careful. Time flies. We are mixing the challenge of 20% gradients whilst plotting a delicate course at glacial pace with a heart rate of 175 BPM. But it does make for a nice film. <laughs> I was there in comparison. I'm not, I wasn't quite as fit there. I wasn't quite as, I'm not quite as fit now. Oh, Where are I you from? Me, I'm from Belfast. Oh, very nice. Yeah. What's your name? John Joe. Nice one, John Joe. Yeah. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Good luck. You too, have a good ride. Dear me, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was busy yeah, go, go, go. going up that steep ramp. A bit sketchy, maybe hard knots like that. Anyway, upwards, upwards we go. Feels good to get harnessed to under the belt. Moonens comes not long after. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an accident. It's easily done. You pick up a lot of speed down here. And these corners are tighter than they look. Thank you. Oh, the smell of disc brakes. All kinds of dust. Thank you. Oh dear me. It's not being just overcooked. Notwithstanding my fast diminishing water, because it was so busy, I decided to press on with the original plan and replenish just before wind latter turned out not to be the best decision. Postcard perfect. <laughs> Woo -wee. Good to be alive. Newlands, here we come. Now the 1.9 kilometers of Newlands Pass has an average gradient of 10.1%, but in Lake District speak, that really means steep, wall, steep, recover, steep, ratcheting up into wall. Newlands and Honister are the Mammal and Mammal S Conference Championship Games. Big, big cycling events individually, but today, precursors to pedalling into the natural amphitheatre that is hard not part. On your left. Oh dear. With the ever-changing gradients and the density of the carbon traffic, I really found it hard to hit my rhythm. And here, I'd have been in my easiest gear, around 60 to 70 RPM, and that's with a 36 on the front and a 34 on the rear. Struggling to get into a rhythm today. Brief respite here, but nonetheless welcome. Whilst the road comprising Newlands Pass is unclassified, with the asphalt well more than a little bit agricultural in places, it is an absolute peach of a climb, with incredible views over the Newlands Valley on the left and a procession of mammals and mammalesses making our way through the Fred Witten playoffs. The challenge of navigating in and around the Fred Witten traffic, whilst admiring the exceptional views, provides a very nice diversion from all of the effort being expended. Anyway. Middle again. As you can see, it's the nature of the climbing. Steep through perpendicular, plus the narrow passes and the sticky road surfaces that make this right. such hard terrain to traverse at any time, 
especially so with the high volume carbon traffic and some cars. The roads, after all, are only closed around Hard Knot, Rhinos and Bleed. Dear me. And with a clear run, it was time to get the hammer down. Well, find out if there's a hammer to get down. Whilst the descents from Honister, Newlands, and as you're gonna see, Winletter and Rhinos are not bestowed with hairpins, I think they're all some of the most exceptional descents in the UK, if not the world. Fast and luxurious, but as always in the lakes, you must treat them with maximum respect. Well, that's Newlands done, and the descent en route to Winlatter. Here, there is an emergency refreshment. Oh, here we go. Thank you very much. So I'm just putting it in here. Thank you. It's meant to be a full gas, Fred, but I find myself in the tea room. Thank you. Oh, that's that. It's my little camera. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. I dropped my, drop my bottles. Now, now I've got my liquids. I've scavenged, I've hunted, and I found a tea room. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Hey. Oh, toast. There's TC. Well done, guys. Great riding. Well done. A top win letter. More late this week. Hospitality supreme. Thank you. I've been having a bit of a moment. Definitely. The stop didn't do anything. I felt a bit gassed in that hill. We're starting to get a confidence back towards the end, but definitely had a little moment there. Like, what am I doing here on the freight again? Anyway, onwards. And downwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've been having a moment since about wing latter, but I think that climb, I think it was Fang's brow. I actually started to feel half decent again. So fingers crossed I do reboot because, oh dear me, I've been to quite a dark place. Thank you. 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 continue to wake up a little bit. A 
a change of battery and a splash and dash. The run into Hardknot Pass for the very first time seems innocuous. There's no obvious sign of there being a 2.2 km stretch of tarmac with an irrelevant average gradient of 13.3%. On the run into Hardknot, and I think it's added to its armory of cyclist deterrents, potholes, steep ramps, it's added a headwind. Cheers. 145 kilometers in just under six hours. I'm gonna fall well short of my ambition of a seven hour Fred Witten, 182 in total. Anyway, I've not been on a great day all day. Legs have sometimes been there, sometimes not. Just trying to feel good, get the pedaling stroke nice ahead of Mr. Hard Knot. I'm gonna ease myself into this, I hope. On my recce on Friday, I got a nosebleed as I entered the final steep ramp on Hard Knot, hoping to fare a little bit better today. I thought there was no cars on this. Thank you. I did a bare minimum. I'm in a smallest gear already. Trying to stay seated to control the power. The reality of the climb is very much more despicable than the irrelevant average gradient. We have ramps flavoured as follows. Steep, perpendicular, steep, perpendicular, steep. Recover on a cruising section at a 10% average gradient. Into steep, wall. I want my mummy, Cheers. wall. Steep, what the f is this? Steep, diminuendo. Hard not pass during the Fred Witten is the Mammal and Mammal S's Sportive Super Bowl. It is our very own version of outdoors for the pros during a Tour de France, yet naturally is very much more spectacular and without a doubt a very much more challenging amphitheatre. Forged over 460 million years ago, rising out of the deep Iapetus Sea, the predecessor to the Atlantic Ocean, Iapetus being the Greek father of Atlas, aka Atlanticus in Latin, you can see how it's all formed. Anyway, I digress, my apologies. Forged through a fusion of three continents, resulting in an arch of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, together hammering out an eminence of rock and copper-rich minerals, furnishing our route with a dramatic and imposing chunk of geology upon which we now ascend at a fittingly glacial velocity. On your, on your left, sorry. Then came the Romans, who I think we can all agree understood how to build an amphitheatre. They laid down the first road to traverse Hard Knot in 110 AD under the Emperor Hadrian. All I am reliably informed not to connect three forts to allow the Romans to control the region, not at all. Instead, all with the foresight of hosting a truly epic cycling games for the people 1900 years later, pitching man, woman and carbon machine against hard knots arsenal of perpendicular gradients, hairpins, potholes and today a gladiatorial headwind. Yeah, good, how are you? Do I spot you? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm only watching your video in the thank week. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good content. Uh, no, thank you very much. Catching. Sorry? Trying to catch him. What a spot by me. Yeah, yeah, indeed. You've done well. What behind all the glasses and the helmet? How are you feeling? Very good. Oh, yeah, me too. Great Have you done this before? No, first time. I'll back a bit of energy here. No, thank you for the videos. It's a pleasure. It really helped. I'm glad, I'm, I'm really pleased about that. No, no, I'm really good. Thank you. Hi there, thank you. Cheers. Much appreciated. Yeah, quite a headwind. Yeah. Annually in the 21st century, the Fred Witten Games throws down the gauntlet to a broad church of contenders. There's a super fit, 
the tenacious, the dreamers, the chancers and the overgeared. They're steel, carbon, titanium, walkers, surgers, grinders, in the saddle, out the saddle, all of us with jobs and everyday stresses, all of us focused entirely on the moment, in the present, fighting our own private battles, our demons, all of us dreamers, unleashed to test ourselves and prove to ourselves alone that we are not going to succumb to a life more ordinary. Yes, friends, I respectfully present to you our Amateur Cycling Super Bowl for the people, by the people, in honour of the late and great Fred Witten, the ultimate showcase of amateur cycling endeavour supreme. And as always on gradients like these, especially when fatigued, it's the ability to deploy the super high torque that keeps you moving in a straight line. I reckon all the work in the gym, on the lower body and the core, definitely pays off. Here, taking the opportunity to pamper myself and recover to the max, stealing myself ahead of the WTF ramp. Bridge to engine room, deploy ramming speed. Personally, there is nothing to compare with completing this climb 150 kilometers deep into a big name event with 3,000 meters of elevation under the belt. Yeah, I mean, for sure, there are ascents in other fondos which are gnarly and cobbled or covered in steep white gravel, some which are magnitudes longer or higher or more majestic. There's even a few more spectacular, but there is something unique and intangible here in the Lake District National Park. Try it. Oh. Thank you. That was proper hard. Beauty and hairpins on the descent, but perambulating with extreme care. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No question, that was the hardest hard knot I've ever done. Oh dear me, it was emotional. Proper emotional. But I feel elated to have got it done. In what has not been the best legs day, just trying to flush the lactate out ahead of rhinos. It's got a nasty sting in the tail. 
really trying to conserve energy here. Hey. Hey. It really does kick up. It's easy to go a little bit too quickly here and then find the final ramp, a little bit emotional. I just want to survive up it. Not exactly a lofty ambition. Average power after six hours, 35 minutes, 160. And now you can see clearly the sting in the tail and it's a nasty sting, especially with 156 kilometers in the legs and hard knot just behind us. A few very brief steep ramps aside, the sting in the tail means perfect for a negative split. Gradually fettle up the power. An accommodating gradient here, giving just enough time to bring down the power a little and also the heart rate ahead of rebuilding for the final assault. As is so often the case in this part of the world, it doesn't hurt to deploy a little bit of late district staccato a bit of on, off, on, off the power before the final crescendo. Cheers. Time now to burn all of the remaining matches, engage the spluttering afterburner and deploy ramming power. Anyway. And at last, time to safely touch down the villa on the summit of the final difficult climb, on fumes, and with both of the afterburners on fire. Jimmy. I'm elated, truly elated. That was touch and go. The endorphins are at a peak. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's about seven hours, 35 minutes, including the stop time. Oh, medals this time, not certificates. Medals. There's medals. I do have a medal. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, well done. Look at that. Last time a certificate, this time a medal. I'm happy with a medal, thank you. You made my day. Medals. Oh, certificate as well. Oh, certificate and a medal. Does life get any better than that? To the climbers, the beer spoils. Thank you ever so much. Oh, cold. Cold enough. Right, aside for sorrows, thank you. Cheers. To the climbers, the beer spoils. Thank you.